Okay, this game is Abdu Sitarov versus Wenjinju. And uh, it turns out that uh, after this game, Wenjinju, Ju is going to play Nazi Pakidzi. And then after Ju plays Nazi, then Ju is going to play Aryan Tari. Ju is going to play Aryan. Yeah. Definitely not Aryan. Yay, 1,000 bits. And that's like two jokes. In the Olympiad somewhere, I want to say China, but maybe it was like in Siberia, Kanti Mansisk. Ju Wenjun did play Nazi Pakidzi. That was the pairing because the, the teams played each other and they were both on board three or something. Or maybe they were higher. It was the rematch of the century, although it was a different century. Okay, so uh, Abdu Sitarov's white. He's won several games in a row. Okay, and we saw earlier in the tournament, Pragnananda beat Ju Wenjun with knight g5. And even the commentators, like Howell, we're, we're, we're calling this the, 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 the fried liver, and that's not the fried liver. But everybody calls this the fried liver, and everybody's wrong. Terrible. And I think, think the thing is, people want to call openings the fried liver, and the fried liver never, ever, ever happens. So this is the, this is the closest they can get. Although, actually, this is closer. So in this position, every grandmaster plays knight a, knight a5. No grandmaster has ever played knight takes d5. And then, and then this is the fried liver. Right, knight, knight g5 is just, this is the two knights, this is the main line. And so forth. Okay, so he played d3. And this is like... Uh, I mean, you can play b5, but good players don't play b5. That's like a tricky line that engines don't like. The fried liver is when black blunders, right? Yeah. Also, it's not clear, even the computers, they change every few years, if, if knight takes f7 is better or d4 is better. Let's see what this one says. Stockfish16 says, this is plus, well, wait a minute. Okay, now it's switch. It keeps switching. It says this is the best, then it says this is the best, and then it just keeps going back and forth. I'll let it sit for like a couple minutes. It's only on depth 23. Once it gets to like depth 34, I'll believe it. Right now they're the same. D4 is also a good move. They're just equally good because it's it's giving like the same you know, it's giving the same evaluation, 0. 0.8. Now it's now it's plus one for both moves. The the evaluation changes for both the same. They they're like 0. 0.8, 0. 0.8, then 0. 0.9, 0. 0.9, then what? Okay, now D4 is better at depth 27. And anyway, D4 is also a very good move. That's not the fried liver. That's that's the fried liver. Okay, for more information on the fried liver, go to Wikipedia and look up fried liver attack, and then it'll explain that it's after this move. Okay, and Wikipedia, never wrong. All right, so bishop e7, this is just, you know, some boring Italian. Bishop b3 is weird, a5 is weird. C4 is weird. Knight d7 is a little weird. Knight b4 is weird. This is a weird game. Why would you want your knight on a6? I understand you want to play c6, but knight on a6 is no good. Man, black's playing really passively. Slightly, clearly slightly better for white. And B5 is just a bad move. Mm. 
Yeah, and the bishop on b3 is just too good. This bishop's too bad. Yeah, I mean, this bishop is better than all of black's minor pieces. And that's a mistake. And now, and only now, did Abdu Sitarov play the fried liver. Oh, snap. Also, not the fried liver, but, you know, the first three moves were the same, or four moves, and then here later. This is the delayed fried liver by about 20 moves. This is the fried leftovers. Yeah. Now, at this point, Jew realized her position was in trouble. And she later told reporters, at this point in the game, she felt in the tournament room, it was hot as an oven. Too soon. Yeah, maybe. Anyway, if you don't like that joke, I have much worse jokes. Not much worse, but a little worse. Okay, so well, so you have to take with the king to save your knight. So king takes. Queen a2. Queen a2 is a blunder. White should play d takes e4. Queen a2 looks good. And this is the funny part of the game, because now black blunders, it makes a losing move. What black needs to do is play rook d8, which nobody would play. Bishop takes e6 check, and then king f8. And the engine actually says black is better here, even though black's down a pawn. I don't know why black's better. I guess if I play de, then rook d1 is mate. And if black plays ED, then black's killing it. So this is actually better for black. The players missed that. Ju Enjun played queen c6. And then Abdu Satorov, who coincidentally is uh, a big fan of this stream here. He's usually lurking. He doesn't say very much. He, he followed one of my most important rules. So I'm sure all of you will find the correct move. C1, what? Always sack the exchange. The most famous rook takes B7, obviously, and Puzzle Pawn knows this, is in the game Kasparov Shirov. Watch Puzzle Pawn say, I know that game. Watch. Even if he doesn't, he, he has to do what I say. Of course. Rook takes b7, the move nobody understood that he won easily. Okay, so queen takes b7, takes. Now the king has to make a tough decision. The, the engine says king e8 is better than king g6. And Ju Enjun indeed played king e8. d4, and white's winning here because black's king is no good. I mean, he black thought he was the king, and then the ace... You know, they survived. So, you know. Okay, so queen e4. White played knight d5. And knight d5, I, I want to play queen a8 check. I'm, I'm blocking your queen from a8. Um, okay, so the engine says that queen takes d5 is the second best move. That's the worst move I've ever seen. Okay, she played the best move, bishop d8. And now white played excellent move. White wants to get his queen over here and so forth. 
And so white played h3, so white has luft, and then queen here check wouldn't be mate if the queen comes down. And black can't move anything here. Black has no moves. So she took the, she played rook f7, but it doesn't matter what she does. And then black is sacking the exchange. So Zhu Wenjun must watch this stream also. Queen a6, this bishop is better than a rook. Knight d5, queen c6 check. Always play king f8. Queen d6 check. King e8. If bishop e7, then this is mate. Bishop d8, queen d8 mate. Um, rook e7 is also absurdly bad. However, the checkmate's beautiful, so we're going to look at it. Okay, so Zhu Enjun avoided all that. She played king e8. Yeah, now her king's not good. There's good and there's not good. Her king's not good. And after queen c6, she resigned. Black has two legal moves. King f8, bishop c5. You guys can understand. And if queen d7, I take, and your king is overworked. And you can't even go here and be a piece down for nothing because I can check you on either square. And then I win your queen. So after queen c6 check, Zhu Enjun resigned. <laughs> 